All right, so I'm retying. <clears throat> 20 pound test with the FG knot. Okay, everybody, welcome back. So I was able to get out for a quick little evening session. I did search around for bass for probably uh, about an hour before this, and that's why I'm retying with a slightly heavier leader. I didn't find any bass, so figured I would try some blackfish. I had some extra bait that I dug up the other day and did that underwater. Unfortunately, there wasn't good lighting and the current was still kind of moving here before the high tide, so I couldn't really get too much underwater footage, but did decide to just fish for blackfish as much as I could. This time I brought frozen green crabs and I fished with those and the other baits that I had. All right, let's try some green crab. Oh, that looks so good. Oh yeah, there's some taps. I definitely think they like the green crab the best. First little, little female. And that was, that was with the frozen green crab. Oh dang, that's in there good too, I can feel it. See if we can catch one before the darkness comes over. Here we go. Somebody's interested. Looks like a very similar sized female. Oh yeah. 
Yeah, she's probably pregnant. Definitely the green crabs are working pretty good. It's just so tricky. Very hard not to get snagged. All right, there's a bite. I just keep bending the hook out. It's pretty funny. If I, if I do get a big one, the hook is definitely gonna straighten out. But, We'll see. Ooh. Trying not to get in that hole. you could outsmart me huh oh my goodness she is fat this is definitely the fattest fish I've ever caught She's about 18. Yeah, almost 18. Wow. I can't believe I got her. She was hitting the crab like as it was coming in and out of the logs. And that hook didn't bend down. Just a little bit. But she's definitely going right back there to spawn all those eggs. Look at that. I really hope. I really hope you make a lot more babies. Because you are so much fun to catch. Oh, God bless you. They're still down there. Still munching. Losing a lot of light here. Oh. Oh. Ripped it out of his hand. Or ripped it out of their mouth. Yeah, that's my last crab. 
they're all over it. So I got, got one sandworm left. It's a really nice one. <clears throat> I'm just gonna leave it on like that. Let's see. Let's see what they think about that. I have no more Asian, or yeah, I have no more green crabs. So, oh wow. Yeah, they did take it. <laughs> okay. Okay, yeah, they do. They, they like sandworms. That was instantly. piece of mud crab. I'm just throwing whatever I have left from the other day. You saw there, right, as soon as that guy bit, I was chopping up a, I think they're called like pisser clams or steamers, I don't know what the proper name is, but. I didn't have much luck with this in the, in the, like last year I tried them. Oh, and I did have shrimp too. I forgot. I didn't see any bass. I did search for bass really longer than I fished uh, for blackfish because I just wanted to give bass a try. I, you know, wandered around this bay quite a bit and I just didn't really mark much at all. Testing out the side scan. Uh, but yeah, I'm not, you know, unless I'm just not looking in the right places, but the blackfish were definitely hitting the green crab pretty good. Uh, I definitely got them fired up. I tried a tiny bit of underwater, but I don't think it came out just because it's a uh, very low light right now. So <sighs> unfortunately couldn't really do too many experiments with the, with the different baits. In my opinion, green crab works almost all the time. And then I guess uh, sandworm clam can work so it's good to have those as backup the sandworm definitely worked when they were fired up and ready to go so they definitely hit sandworm I still think green crab is probably what I prefer the most and it's the cheapest and it works when you freeze it so I mean it is a pretty good bait all things considered hopefully the bass are here in May 
and then I'll start going for fluke, you know, May, mid-May. But uh, yeah, May is uh, May is a hot month, so stay tuned. See you in May.